Hey, how are you? Today on Whoa, That's Weird, we're going to be trying a Western delicacy, and that is Rocky Mountain Oysters, which is another word for bull's testicles. Look at that sack of Rocky Mountain Oysters right there. That's a couple plates right there. This guy's a bucking bull, though. No one's, no one's chopping his balls. He needs those balls to buck. And this place behind us, what's it called? Sanford's Grub and Tub? Yeah, Sanford's Grub and Pub. Grub and Pub. Yeah, this place, I guess, uh, has them on the menu. So, let's go get nuts. Whoa, whoa, that's weird. I think we're just gonna do two waters, and then uh, could we start with an order of the, the Rocky Mountain Oysters? Yeah. Thank you. Seafood of a different sort served with cocktail sauce. I've tried these once before. Don't really remember what they tasted like. Uh, they do come deep fried. I don't think I would eat a bull ball if it wasn't deep fried. You need that you need that breading to kind of distract your mind that you're actually eating another animal's testicles. All right, the oysters have arrived. Now I think they've been uh, sliced first. Because like normally a ball is in shape like this, so I think it's just it's just a cross section of a ball. You know, if you combine these all together, then you get the bull testicles. They served it with um, marinara sauce and gravy. This does not look like good gravy. This looks like jello. That is not the consistency you want in a gravy. But we'll try out, we'll try out, we'll try out the taste. I can't taste much at all. And if you look at that, it looks kind of just like a, a nugget. It's like the consistency of a chicken nugget. Let's go. Right, let's, let's get another bite. It's not bad. If you don't dip it in sauce, it's got kind of like a weird aftertaste that lets you know you aren't just eating like, you know, normal beef or a piece of chicken. But not bad at all. One nut. Everybody knows the rules. I mean, this is hearty. If you fucking chop my nuts up and deep fry them, that wouldn't even make the kids' menu. You gonna try one, Eddie? Yeah, sure, I'll try one. I mean, right off the bat, I'm not trying that sauce. You, okay. were, you were very, you were kind enough to that. How you describe that, that looks like Vaseline. Eddie the Bull. It's like a bland pork tenderloin. All right, I can see that 100%. That's what I got, bland pork tenderloin. Well, not bad, but it's not good. What? That's the cocktail sauce. Is that cocktail sauce? I mean, it's... No, it's supposed to be marinara. It's definitely not marinara. No. No, I think it's supposed to be cocktail sauce. I've had enough, though. It's just like filler. Yeah. It's like, uh... Oh. Do you know how they make cocktail sauce? Hmm. It's just ketchup and horseradish. I think, that, I think that's all it is. Yeah. It's good. Okay. I'm going to move in for one last bite. Take another nut strip out the skillet. It's cocktail sauce. Yeah. I guess I'll try some. The cocktail sauce improves the nut. Now they call them Rocky Mountain oysters. These taste nothing like oysters. I actually would almost assume that nuts would have an, an oyster-like consistency, but these really firmed up. I think Rocky Mountain oysters are served at a lot of restaurants in the Midwest, in Colorado, Wyoming. So do they have farms where they're just raising bulls for their balls? In the beef industry, all the calves, when they're young, they, they uh, castrate them, and, oh, and them, are, okay. them are the Rocky Mountain oysters. But, and they're made steers, and what steers do is they, they gain weight faster, and they and they, they uh, chasing around riding things and doing stuff so they just they maintain they get gentle and they they gain better all right final number score 4.8 it's right. like it's like plain testito chips yeah they're okay they'll get you a buy but you're not gonna you're not gonna send a postcard about them. um this is like a new 
shale that large uses sometimes i'm trying to use it it's, it's just one through three one is never try it three is you need to try it two is yeah if you come across it try it so i'm going to give this a two i wouldn't say i regret trying it um but it's nothing you like need to try not bad though whoa whoa that's weird whoa whoa that's weird really fucking weird Holy fucking shit.